Good morning, everyone. August 29th, we celebrate the Passion of St. John the Baptist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for the worthy celebration of the Holy Eucharist. You have come to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Our God, who will that Saint John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God shows the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Herod was one who had John ba- John Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias. John had said to Herod, It is not is it it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed yet he liked to listen to him she had an opportunity one day when herod on his birthday gave a banquet to his courtiers his military official officers and the leading men of galilee herodias own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted her herod and his guests the king said to the girl ask of me whatever you wish and i will grant it to you he even swore many things to her i will grant you whatever you ask of me even to half of my kingdom she went out and said to her mother what shall i ask for she replied the head of john the baptist the girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request i want you to give me at once on a platter the head of the john john the baptist the king was deeply distressed but because of his oaths and the guess he did not wish to break his word to her so he promptly dispatched the executioner with the orders to bring back his head he went off beheaded him in in the prison he brought in the head of the head on a platter and gave it to the girl the girl in turn gave it to her mother when his disciples heard about it they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb the gospel of the lord as a prophet john the baptist was supposed to be a mouthpiece of god to tell the people truth with courage there are two reactions in the gospel one is herodias she wants to silence the truth she harbored grudge against him and her anger went to an extent of silencing John the Baptist to silence means to destroy the truth he was waiting for a right opportunity so that she can manipulate the power and destroy the truth by destroying the prophet because she thought the truth spoken by John the Baptist is against her happiness we have second reaction here about Herod he in fact when confronted with the truth he liked this man he loved to listen to him but 
he impressed him so we see herod possess the truth but doesn't want to obey the truth we know the rest of the story herodias manipulates the power and finally kills the truth here both people one who silenced another one who impressed impressed the truth thought they could control it and they thought the truth is against their happiness there was a chance for herod to listen to him and convert but he was not courageous he gave more importance to his oath to his in 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 the in his court so he is not courageous enough to obey the truth but they had truth imprisoned in our cultural context many a time we possess truth we have the truth by the grace of god but at the same time when confronted with the truth we are afraid we do not have the courage to obey the truth contemplating the passion of john the baptist let us seek the grace of courage to obey the truth god bless us all let us turn to our heavenly father with these petitions knowing that he loves us and hears our prayers for the missionaries throughout the world may they receive god's blessing and comfort as they make his love known let us pray to the lord for policy makers may god grant them wisdom in decision making let us pray to the lord for couples who are struggling with their marriage may god's grace grant them courage in forgiveness and reconciliation let us pray to the lord for the members of his this faith community may the holy spirit guide us in all aspects of our lives let us pray to the lord for our beloved dead may they forever rejoice in the kingdom of heaven let us pray to the lord for our special intentions and intentions of this today's holy mass anita parama parambo let us pray to the lord God of grace and peace hear the prayers of your people we ask this through Jesus Christ our lord Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you for out of the earth the work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For out of the wine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With a humble spirit and contrite of heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your your pass as taught by the voice crying in the desert, John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb, he left for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the lamp of redemption. And to make holy the flowing water, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with all with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread toward the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and are worthy that you should end an Amen. 
body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. an act of spiritual communion for those who participate in this Holy Eucharist remotely. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually in my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant our Lord as we pray celebrate the heavenly birth of Saint John the Baptist, that we may revere for what, is, what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us through, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is and let us go in the peace of Christ. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O heavenly Prince, Abba, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
a novena in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles, the Immaculate Grant to may currently enjoy your presence in heaven, and who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore, grant we beseech you that filled with like humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you 
every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Blessed Mother, as we said in the Memorare, you are our great intercessor. Please ask your son Jesus to heal the people that we have named here who are seriously ill. Rosemary, Henry, Linda, Joanne, Kevin, Leah, Two Dawns, Gary, David, Marlene, Frank, John Joseph, Paula, Two Donnas, Piero, Nancy, Jeff, Sophia, Barbara, Patricia, Anne Marie, Keenan, Jason, Cheryl, Debbie, Two Cathy's, Olivia, Sue, Two Roberts, Dottie, Mary, Two Kathleen's, Emily, Reagan, Catherine, Sean Patrick. We have six Jims, Shelby, Leonard, Bridget, Mary Beth, Todd, Abigail, Ray, Paul, Terry, Betty, Tori, two Lorries, Janet, Johnny, Heather, Randall, Stephen, John, Marianne, Shelby, Leonard, Bridget, Mary, Tim. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> 